to add parkour controller to your project so that you can use it with GC2. It's actually very straightforward. It requires no additional real configuration other than just enabling the parkour controller. But first, you have to install parkour animation set and parkour controller. So I'll search for parkour in the package manager under my assets. Um, and so install parkour animation set. I've already done that. You just hit import and go. And the current version is 1.1. So that's all good to go. Now, if the store hasn't been updated in time, we need a minimum of 0.1.2 for our parkour controller in order to support game creator two. And since this is still 0.1.1, I'm going to pull it in from a package I have stored on my machine. So I'll bring that in. Okay, so that came in. We have no errors, which is a good thing. And uh, now, so that's everything you need to do. So now when you open up the config wizard, you should be able to recheck your dependencies and you should notice that we have, we still have our splines and we have everything else, but parkour is completely ready to go. There's nothing else you need to do. You can just go to set up character. In fact, we can use the same character from before. Everything is still set up. The one thing I'm gonna do differently is I'll go ahead and go into this character and we'll change the player. So we open up the animation tab. There's this drop of 3D model. Let's go find the hoodie guy. All right, so I'm just gonna drag the model in here. So we now have our normal hoodie guy. I'll go over to the config wizard. I'll drag the hoodie guy model in here. We'll go to make sure that we have game creator integration. We already have our layers set up for ground layers. Everything looks clean here. If you don't know how to set up the rest of this, that's shown in my prior video where it's just setting up MMLC and GC2. And we'll go ahead and go to parkour. We'll turn parkour on. And then parkour wants the original character model as well. So that's this, not one of the prefabs. You really want to use the original model that made it. Our parkour, parkourable layers are the layers that we can do parkour upon. So that's default, which is going to have the ground in most of the objects. And then we want grounder only in that case. So for example, the stairs are grounder only, but the incline that's smooth for the camera is uh, in grounder ignore. So we want grounder only. So we get our IK to hook up exactly right. Turn off the test camera. We go into the stopgap animation data selector. We can just leave it on MXM mocap because that's all we have right now. And then uh, that looks like everything is set right. So let's go ahead and just add that to the scene. Okay, it's just warning us that there's no IK pass enabled, but that GC2 does that itself. And so testing out the parkour, there's another couple things. One thing that comes right along with MMLC is you get the strafe mode. So you get a nice, really natural all direction strafe that comes along with MXM and MMLC. And you can also do parkour. So let's go ahead and look at the IK. Sure enough, you see he puts his hands in the center spot. We're obviously going to keep tweaking that to make it look better, but he has ability to do that. Mantling, vaulting the whole nine yards. Here, we'll go ahead and there you go. So everything's working right out of the box. Just using the config wizard, no custom uh, coding or anything like that. And you have it with your GC character. And sure enough, we can mix back to GC. And there he is. And then hit E and we can go right over to MMLC in a completely seamless fashion, so. And that's it.